What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's holiday time, and it's a lot of job turkeys out there. Like, for me, there's a lot of things I like for Thanksgiving. And although we got to have our turkey, I don't want to go through the house of preparing the whole turkey. You know what I like? I like the turkey legs, and I like the turkey wings. So I'm going to show you an incredible recipe of how I prepare this that's going to be a game changer for when you either have to prepare a turkey or take it to somebody else's house for dinner. All right, now let's get right to it. Now what I've done is I've already brined my turkey legs and wings, which is very important for flavor. I got another video posted. If you wanna see how the brine works, it's a very good process. You infuse that in water, you put some flavors and herbs in there. And once you're done after 24 hours or eight hours, however long you brine it, you wanna go ahead and clean it off with cold water, dry it off, and then it gets just like this. So you can check out my other video for that. Um, on my page. But what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how to cook this thing once you've already got all that flavor infused. All right, now let's get to it. Once you have your turkey legs and wings together, you just need a few herbs and spices to get ready to get this thing because you're gonna cook this low and slow. Once you begin, what I've done already is I've heated, preheated my oven to 400 degrees and you wanna let that get nice and warm because that's gonna start the process. Now let's talk about these ingredients right here. There's just a few really important ingredients you need for this mission. You want some straight up, some chili pepper. If you wanna play with it and use Chipotle, you can. Some fresh dry thyme. Cracked pepper is very important. If you can crack it and get it fresh, it's so important. You got some onion powder or onion granulated onion. I'm using here a seasoned blend. Now it's very important that you use whatever you like. I'm using the steakhouse seasoning because I love the floral and, and the salt and, and the, the, the flavor content on the inside of here. And last but not least, I'm using a nice blend of mesquite seasoning, and you can go ahead and pick up some Grill Mates Mesquite if you like. Now again, this is the spice blend I'm using. If you have another spice blend that you prefer, but this is tried and tested, and let me tell you, I've done it a hundred times, and a hundred times, it's a knock out the park, right? Now as a reminder, all of these ingredients will be put down there for you, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine all this together, and we're gonna turn this into a rub. And you wanna get all that nice, and I mean, this is gonna be some beautiful color. And when you notice this at the end, you'll see a nice color. Look at that. When that's all blended together, that rub is delicious. And now that we got this rub all together, oh, you can smell this. It smells so good. If you're trying this at home right now, I want you to tell me right now in the comment section how good this smells. This smells amazing. You can use this rub for a lot, not just a turkey brine. You want to rub this turkey. You want to lift that skin up. Lift that skin up really good and get that flavor all inside that turkey, right? You wanna do this to every single piece that you have here because it's very important. You want all of this to have its own flavor. Now, another thing is you wanna make sure you're really generous with this seasoning. You want this seasoning, this, this uh, is good enough. I'm using eight pieces. I'm using four and four, let's say, turkey wings and legs. This is more than enough to utilize and make sure you get good coverage on your meat. Because the whole point of this, right, is to have lots of flavor. That's what we do here best. Flavor is our superpower. And together, we're gonna have the best turkey legs ever. Now that we have these nice and seasoned up, the last step is a simple step. All you gotta do is put this together and make you a nice little glaze to pour over so that when we wrap this with some foil, you wanna braise these turkey legs because at the end, it's gonna be fall off the bone delicious, and I mean that literally. And what we're gonna do now is right after you've seasoned your turkey legs and wings up really nicely, you're gonna make a slight little glaze. This is gonna give us some wetness and some moisture that we're gonna seal that thing together and it's gonna braise and be really good. All you're gonna need is a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, if I said that correctly. You want a little bit of chicken stock, and of course, some minced garlic. Now I got a pan, you can use a saucepan, whatever you like. I'm gonna put these all in here and warm these up just a little bit. And give us a nice braised sauce right in there. And you wanna put the liquid first because you do not wanna scorch the garlic. This is gonna be a really nice braising liquid. So once you start hearing that goodness, I call it the goodness once you start hearing it simmer and come up a little bit, you immediately want to turn that down and all the flavors are activated. You got all those flavors together now. And all you want to do is you want to take this glaze and you want to pour this over the turkey legs and wings right before you place it in the oven. Now,
Now here's a tip. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 400 degrees. You can even do 450 if you wanna be adventurous. I want this to get some color first. I'm gonna do this about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna drop that heat down to 350 and I'm gonna let this cook low and slow like they do in the deep south. I'm gonna say it again. You wanna start this off 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna get the color and stuff around the turkey legs and wings. Then you wanna drop that heat down to 350, cover it up with foil as I'm gonna do. If you have a traditional roasting pan and you have a lid, the same way and you want to cook that for about three hours untouched if you choose to rotate in between that's okay but then i'm going to come back and show you how to finish this off uh, to make it real nice it's been about 17 minutes i've taken this out the oven and as you can see it already has a really nice color it's a really nice color this is the color we want first you can see those herbs those spices you can see that glaze at the bottom this is what we want. Now what we're gonna do after this point, very simple, we're gonna go ahead and cover this up nice and tight. Now that we got this wrapped up, don't forget to make sure that oven is dropped to 350 degrees because we wanna cook this low and slow. Now after about an hour and a half, you wanna check and make sure that there's some moisture coming from the turkey legs and wings in there and you get a little bit, like a, like a half of inch, an inch is okay of liquid. If you notice that it's a little bit dry at the bottom, pull a little bit more chicken stock, even some water. It's okay to put in there with the flavor. You want a little bit of liquid in there because that steam and that heat is gonna go ahead and make those turkey legs nice and tender. So I'm throwing this back in the oven and I'll see you at the three hour mark. All right, so now we're at about the two hour mark and I wanna look in here and see how this is coming along. Make sure it got moisture, it's not dry at the bottom. Let's see how this looks. Now already, if I try to pull this up, it's breaking off the bone. So we already know. This has got the right moisture. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to baste this all over just to make sure it got juice. All right, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do, these are tender exactly how I want them. So oven temperatures vary. My oven is, seems to be working really well today. So I'm going to go ahead and take the barbecue sauce. I am using House of Flavors Kicking Barbecue because I love the flavor and everything that goes with it. So I'm going to put, let's say, a half a cup in there. You can throw a little more if you like. And I'm gonna reserve some of this, take some of this reserved juice and mix it in with that barbecue sauce so we get the natural flavors of the turkey. Then what you wanna do now is you just wanna mix that in there. Really nice. We're gonna take, look at that. That's the color that you want for that turkey. Mmm, look at that. All right, so now these are nice and glazed, exactly how I want them to be. I'm still gonna reserve some of this sauce here for later if I choose to. I'm only gonna throw these back in for about another 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna turn the broiler on and go ahead and get a nice little sear across the top, some heat to kind of caramelize that flavor into the turkey legs. And then I'm gonna show you the end result that when I lift that up, they just drip off that bone. I have just taken this out. I have broiled it really nice across the top. It's a really nice color, and look at this. I mean, you got to look at this. That's such a great color. And most importantly, like I told you, look at this. If I pick this up like here, look how this just fall off. I mean, that drips off. I mean, literally, you touch it and you're left with the bone, and I gotta try this. Mm. This is so good. Mm. You show up at somebody's house with these, next level. Watch this. Let me show you. If I pick up a turkey leg, right? It's gonna be hard. Look at this. It just falls apart. There's nothing we can do about that. It is so tender. Look at that. It's just hanging off the bone. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Can you look at that. That's amazing. Now what I'm about to do is I got a nice pan of cast iron cornbread almost finished in the oven. I got a pot of greens behind and I'm gonna put this all together and I'm gonna eat good. And if you need some other inspirations, check out my latest cookbook, Holiday Flavor. It's full of holiday recipes, all the stuff that you love, soul food inspired, but most importantly, it has a ton of flavor inside. Oh, almost forgot, told you I had some greens. 
Do not forget to like, follow, comment, and share. I really want to grow this community, share the flavorful ideas and dishes I have with you, and be inspired by some of the questions that you may have. So don't forget to share this, engage with me, let me know how you like it, and don't forget to check out my other videos. My name is Miguel Global, and you're watching the He's Got Flavor channel, and I will, I'm going to finish this plate. Happy holidays, and I'll see y'all soon.